and we're back with some more Subnautica. And today, I'm just doing a little bit of a run around to top up on some resources. We're a little bit short on nickel, sulfur, diamond, lithium, ruby, and mag magnetite. Well, it's short, we just don't have a lot of them, and... Huh. I've been advised to check out this big blue tree. Yeah, so we're gonna head that way and hopefully find some lithium and stuff along the way. Ooh, there's some ruby. What was that noise? Oi. Hey, what are you... Come here. Yeah, that's right. Come here. Taste the drill. Come on, you'll like it. At least for a short period of time before you die. And... come on. Seriously, this guy takes forever. Yeah, I think we got him. Oh. Um... Whee! <laughs> Let's maybe grab on. One second while I, uh, get us to a better position. I want to grab some of this ruby before we head down there. The plan is to have about 12 of all the resources, just so we have enough to make anything that we need when the time comes. I think that's titanium. No, we're good. We're good on a bunch of resources. Quartz, lead, uh, I think silver, gold, that type of stuff. We've got all of that already. Anyway, let's go over and have a quick scan of this tree over here and see what it is. You are one big ass tree. Well. I, it's underwater, so I'm not sure if it's a tree or what it is, but it looks like a tree to me, so that's what the name we're going with. Now, where's that shark gone? Well, underwater translucent shark, whatever the hell they're called. Alright, let's scan this sucker. Giant cove tree. Alright, indigenous life form, giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove. It was a tree, and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays, grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark, a hardy fast growing back, covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches in the surface, ghost leviathan eggs. The tree branches are wrapped around a number of mut maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. This tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs related in the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow, and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Ha... Huh. Let me see. Okay. Do we scan this? Nope. Alright, a hundred slashes later, it's still alive. I'm gonna say that that thing's pretty tough or invincible. One or the other. Okay, so we've done our exploration. Uh, back to finding lithium, ruby, and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, giant chunk of lithium. This makes things easier. I also did a little bit of an expansion to the underwater base we had going on. I'll see the trip back to the surface so I could get myself some acid shrooms. So you now have acid mushrooms down here. We're also growing gel sacs. We've got creep vines and we've got blood vines all growing down here. So effectively, we should be able to live down here effectively forever if we wanted to. And we've got all of the necessary resources between here and the plants to build everything we want. Uh, there is one thing that you may not... Where, where is it? There is coral stuff. You know the stuff used to make microchips? That stuff is available down here. It just looks different. For example, yep, yeah, let's get a bit. Yeah, this here. This is actually table coral. You use that to make the microchips and things that you need to, well, do some of the higher tech stuff. But you can find that down here. And you can also find the gel sacks down here. The only thing I couldn't find down here was those acid mushrooms, which you need to make batteries. Which you need to make power cells, and power cells are required for a few construction projects. We shouldn't need any of this stuff, but eh, why not? Now, move the door around a bit. I also dismantled the uh, bioreactor. I was advised the way this works is it draws power from the first power source that was created. So if we're if the bioreactor was the first, which it was, it would start using this to draw power for recharging batteries, running the scanner room, all the baseline power draw. Now what'll happen is since the first thing created was this thermal vent or the thermal power over there uh, along that blue line, the thermal power will now provide all the baseline power, and only if that's being maxed out will it draw from the bioreactor, which means the bioreactor shouldn't really need to do anything, meaning we don't have to top it up nearly as often, is the theory. We've also got our moon pool back here as per standard, and we stuck on a scanner room over here, and I put in all the upgrades for it. Uh, this is our little base here, and uh, let me try and orientate it. You see our scanner room is located out here, and then there's this uh, sort of large flat area that it's kind of built on while it's hanging out over the edge. So all we got to do to orientate ourselves on the map and hopefully figure out where we're going to be going is just pop in here and find the flat bit near the scanner room which is I think this. Actually wait. Oh wait no it's probably that. 
All right, so this is the scanner room, this is the flat bit, and that's the tunnel that leads down to the... Oh, the weird alien cube, I think. Meh. Too complicated. I'm just gonna... In a second. I'm gonna go grab the last three resources we need, which is sulfur, diamond, and magnetite. And once I've got at least half a locker of all of those, I'll, uh... I'll move on. This area has remained much the same, uh, but in here I have stuck in a whole bunch of lockers so that we can start well labeling things and putting them where they need to be. For example, on the magnetite section, we don't have a full locker. We've got a decent amount, but I'd like more. Uh, ruby, we've got over half a locker, so I'm fine. Lithium, half a locker. We've got your quartz, copper ore, lead, gold, diamond, silver, sulfur, and nickel. In fact, yeah, we've got a decent amount of nickel. But the only thing we don't have half a locker or more of is sulfur, diamond, and magnetite. I'm just going to top up on those, and then we can move on. We are topped up to the gills. we got all the resources we need. I think the only thing I'm a little bit light on is sulfur, but that's because I don't think there's a lot of it. I think we've got all the sulfur within, well, 500 meters of this location. Well, scanning's done, everything's done, it's time to start moving. Uh, first up, though, will be the base. We've already been past the alien structure thing. Are those engines kicking online? There we go. They feel like they're diesel engines. They take a little bit of time to warm up. Even though this whole thing is, what, power cell charged? Anyway, we've got all our batteries charged. We're ready to rock. Let's see what the future holds. Oh, and I figured out from the story, like, it, it kind of settled in my brain. That skeleton you find back there that's been damaged by the impact, it was the one that ran into this thing. It ran into this thing and destroyed it. That's why it's back there. All right, well, we've done our stuff here. Let's keep moving. Uh, can those things attack us inside the ship, those teleporter guys? Oop. Wasn't me. What we're looking for here is a way down. We need to go deeper. We need to get to 1.4 kilometers. So far, I'm not seeing any waterfalls. Uh, let's switch to camera mode. Nope, it's a weird one. Let's go to the downward facing one. Yeah, I've turned the lights on and off. Uh, it did nothing. Oh, buggery. Uh, turn off the engines real quick. Launch decoy countermeasures. Decoy decoy. Wait, did we just launch a decoy above our heads? Huh. Hold on, I'm going to go take care of that Leviathan real quick. Ooh, I should probably turn off those lights. Yeah, that might be an idea. Less lights means less likely that the thing's going to eat us alive. Oh, there's the decoy. Doesn't seem to be working. I need to remember that I'm going to run out of oxygen really quick out here, so I need to remember to top up on oxygen and then come out when it's close by. Ah, here we go. Anyone full blast? Perfect. I accidentally let him go. Where's our ship gone? I'll just have a quick top up in food and we'll go back out and get him in a bit. Ooh! I just realized when I was coming forward there looks to be a bit of a dip down here. Maybe this is where we get lower down. Oh, that looks reddish. You know what? Maybe I'll just take care of this Leviathan real quick before we go down there. If we've got to be coming up and down here a lot, I don't want to be dealing with him consistently, so... Let's just make sure he's not going to bother us anytime soon. There you are. No, no, no. Don't run away. Come back here. Come back. Okay, where were we? Ah, yes. Hey. Excellent. All right. He finally sleeps with the fishes. Now I just gotta find our ship and get back in. Yep, that looks like our way down. I should deploy another buoy. Well, that just looks awkward. Uh, bye, I suppose? Actually, I might do a little bit of exploring before we go down. This place does look kind of pretty, and now that we've disposed of the local threats, it should be a lot easier to uh, wander through. What are these things? You are pyrocoral. 
This coral species is unlike any other encountered on this planet so far. It relies on magma flow rather than water current to deliver nutrients. This lava rises up from the planet's core and erupts at vents. This coral forms around the base until eventually it has surrounded the entire vent. Lava is then funneled up through the coral, allowing it to siphon minerals and heat as it goes. Huh. That seems like we're in a magma area. Okay. Bacterial infection report. You've been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacteria. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time, two weeks. Your immune system is currently combating the infectiancy at low effic effic efficiency. Efficacy? You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. These will likely be exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage further re alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystems to inhibit the systems of the infection. Right? That's pretty much what we were doing already. Well, that's because I wanted to find the alien tech. Anyway, what are you, uh, titanium? Yeah, 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 yeah. After a quick explore around, there does not appear to be any new resource types or scannable stuff around here, so I'm just going to keep going down. All right, fire up the engines. Let's start. Let's go with the downward facing camera. And, uh,. Follow that Leviathan. Let's turn on the lights. Yep, there's one of those uh, teleporty things. more of them. That's wonderful. Ha, huh, is that a new mineral over there? It could be a new mineral. That just looks like sort of melted knobs of magma that have stuck together. What we're looking for here is glowy blue crystals. That's what the canite looks like. That's the stuff we need for the final upgrades. And uh, what's the temperature down here like? I can't tell. Hmm. Worst driving ex Ooh, now that looks glowy and blue down there. How hot is it is another thing. Should we not be cooking in this? We're going to have to drop down in the mining vessel. That's the only way we're doing this, right? It's got to be, right? That's got to be the canite. Canite? Whatever it's called. Now, let's have a quick gander about. You look a little bit aggressive. What? What are you guys doing? No, don't be sitting up home on my ship like that. That's probably bad. There's a teleporter guy over there. We do not want to be anywhere near those guys. Hmm. Okay, okay. We'll risk it. We're gonna pop out, and we're gonna give this a go. Eh, how's the ship looking? I've got a propulsion cannon in there. I couldn't find the claw arm. We can't make claw arms. I don't think we found the blueprint for that. If you want to make claw arms, we'd have to make an entirely new prawn, which would come with two claw arms. I, I left the actual claw arms back at home. Okay, let's go. Yeah, good to be here. Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. Let's get this done real quick. That's it. it that's canine. Come on, come on, come on. I think that was like one piece. Come on, we need like at least ten. That's two. Okay, this stuff doesn't come in big quantities then, I understand. Don't come near me. I have a drill, but oh my god, did that fish just swim in some lava? Huh. Eat drill, asshat. Okay. I've got a second serving of that if you're interested. Come on back, anytime. Oh my god, I thought that was another leviathan. Turns out it's just the one we killed earlier. Okay, that's fine. 
And let's get back in the ship and immediately build an upgrade with that canine we just acquired. Ooh, what's that over there? Yep, never mind. We're back in the ship now. May have been a little bit uh, close to the ground when I did that one. How much did we get? How much did we get? We got eight pieces. That should be enough to make a couple of upgrades at least. Prone suit depth module Mark II is available. Oh, wait, no. What was the one that allows us to recharge the batteries? Cyclops thermo thermal reactor module. We need a wiring kit and two polonine. Yeah, wiring kit's easy. Wiring kit is two silver. We got that in spades. Uh, polonine just requires hydrochloric acid and gold, which just requires two, three deep shrooms. Pretty sure we got some hydrochloric acid in storage. All right, we made up all the bits and pieces we need. Quick thermal reactor module. We'll chuck that in with the engines. And now that we're close to the bottom of the map, that should mean everything should start recharging, right? What are we at? 26% on that battery. Twenty-seven? Twenty-eight? Okay. Okay, that's good. And it's weird, I feel like I'm drifting about the place in the ship. It's like stuff is buffeting us or something, and I'm not keeping up. Let's, uh... Alright, let's pilot the ship just a tad. Yeah, it's probably those things running into us. Uh, I also want to go over to... That lump of whatever it is over there. Forty-two percent. Oh, this is awesome! This means we don't have to worry about power in this end anymore. Well, so long as we're in the... This magma biome. What are you? Gold? I can grab some gold while I'm here. Cool, we can stomp around in the magma. I was looking at the temperature and it was only 50 degrees. I'm like, that doesn't seem like very hot. Compared to, you know, we're standing right by magma. Alright then. Well, let's load back in. We've got everything we need from here for now. I will just have to keep an eye out for more of that uh, canite crystal. Canite crystal? I'm going to call it canite. Um, hello? Cool. Okay, let's get on with our day. Battery power is at 97%. That means, uh, we don't care. We can run quite well. We can recharge our batteries down here. Things are turning out good. Yeah, yeah, I know. That beeping noise is the uh, proximity sensor is telling us, hey, you're getting kind of close to that wall over there. I know, I know, I know. Probably going to hit it anyway. Now, so far, those warper things have not warped us out of this ship. They can warp us out of the sea moth, and I'm pretty sure they can warp us out of the prawn. But let's see if they can warp us out of... Actually... Can we ram that guy? Eh, he's probably gone already, never mind. Ooh, there's more crystal! What the? What the hell are you? Hmm. I think so. Eh... What have we got? Defense shield, active sonar, countermeasures, rig for silent running. Let's just creep forward. I have some crystal I want to mine. Then we'll go kill that thing. What the? Uh... What the? That guy makes me a little nervous. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna grab that canine crystal real fast. Before we do that, though, oh my god, uh, it might be a little bit toasty out here. Thing is, we can't repair inside the ship. We have to get outside the ship to repair this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Done. Okay, we're clear that front. Mm. 
don't care. I'm getting this canine. Crap, I just realized something. It's 50 degrees down here, which means if... Sorry, got distracted by whatever that was. Okay, it's 50 degrees down here, which means if we get out to kill that guy, we're gonna burn. Right? Unless higher up there's less temperature. And people were telling me there's two blueprints I missed in the comments. And uh, one of them is this reinforced suit that increases your heat resistance, and the other is the nuclear reactor. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going back for them. Reason being, I'm playing this blind, so... If I'm blind, I don't know that those exist, so I thought I'd explored everything, so let's just keep going and see if we can make it without that stuff. If you will notice there at the top, we're at 1216 meters of 1300 meters. We're coming then, we're coming up on crush depth, which means I should spend this on upgrading, or spend our cannon crystal on upgrading the depth this thing can go to. Uh, Cyclops depth module mark three takes a plasteel ingot and three canine crystal. Easy peasy. No, 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 stay down there. Ooh, okay, uh, it's fine, fine. We've got most of the resources, I think, together for this upgrade. All we're missing is Canon Crystal Depth Module. Easy peasy, we've got the Canon Crystal over here. And I have been advised that if we take this module out, it won't crush the ship immediately. Do I trust the comments enough to do that? Let's see. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yep, 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 yep. That's cool. Huh. Okay, that worked. And there seems to be no damage. Let's just get into the ship, check our hull. Yeah, no, hull's perfect. Okay, then. Now, what was a couple other things we should have made already? Now, we're also going to need a depth module upgrade for the prawn suit, so... Done! And... Installed. Gosh, depth now 1700 meters for that. Okay, now I gotta see how far I can get without dying out here. Immediately painful? Yep, immediately painful. However, it is slowly decreasing our health. Huh, actually, wait. I got an idea. I think we can kill this guy real quick. You see, I came prepared for a little chemical warfare. Where did he go? I've been waiting here for him to show up. I'm prepped. I got all the gas pods loaded up. I just need him to show his ugly face. Okay, that's rude. I mean, I'm sure his face is fine. There he is! Wait a minute, I need to get a gun loaded up. Okay. Seriously? Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're still getting a little bit burned, but not too badly. Not too badly yet. How? How is this gun so... Oh my god. Fine, we'll aim a half a mile in front of you. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. We'll hit you with another big blast. Oh, this. okay, 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 okay. I think we got him, I think we got him. Now, I've brought, it took 14 the last time. That did not kill the regular device. So I'm going to drop 20 in this guy's face. If that doesn't work, we'll drop another five. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Run? Where's our ship? Okay, ship's over there. How much damage does it do? Actually, I should probably scan this guy real quick while we're here. Damn it! Okay, I'll come back with 10 gas pods. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, 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 come back here. I'm going to spread these out a bit. Okay, and now let's get some scanning in while they're distracted. Perfect. And now let's get some stabbies in. Okay. That worked out fine. Now, where the hell is our base? Okay. Yeah, that didn't seem to hurt him nearly as much as I was hoping. We just hit him with 40 gas pellets, and he's just like, yeah, whatever. Quick bit of repairs before we go inside. Okay, so we're completely healed up. Hmm. I think we may just have to dodge this guy. The problem is... Like, we've hit him with a lot, and he just won't die. Uh, and I need... Yeah, I probably need more med packs with me, maybe, or something, and then just stay out there and slash him for an eternity. He might be immortal, though. Alright, it's time for Plan B. Plan B is very simple. We're gonna grapple onto the thing, and then we're gonna punch it with a drill until it stops moving. I have no idea how well that will work. Oh, there's more sulfur down here. Cool, and there's some canite over there. Let's see about grabbing that canite while we're waiting. Yeah, this thing is just gonna drag us around the place, which is kind of fun, but we would die. Let's go check out those bones and... Why is my ship parked like that? Did I park it like that? Did that guy just try to take a nibble out of me? One second. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That was 39 hits and it's still not dead. That's a bad sign. Oh. Could you not, like, get off the window? <laughs> Better. Uh, I just heard a teleporter around here somewhere. I don't like that noise. Where did he go? Yeah, we took some damage there. So I think quick repair jobs in order.
Yeah, it's pretty brutal out here. I wish I had more time to kill everything. That works. So basically, the moment he shows up, grab him with the grappling hook, pull him in close, and then hit him with the drill. And he decides it's better to be someplace else. Oh. This actually still goes down further. So we'll have a little bit of an explore around here, but I think we could just go down. Damn it, the health on this is low. The only thing I gotta do is scan these lava larvae. So, what do you do, lava larvae? Grub like species which appears to lack sight and smell but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Suction cup, capable of attaching to smooth surfaces. Thick scales, protected from extreme temperatures. Assessment avoid when piloting vehicles, remove to conserve batteries. Oh, uh, this is a battery drainer. Hmm, a sea dragon leviathan. A colossal leviathan with a reptilian feature seen stalking the very heart of the volcanic crater which underpins life in the area. The scan specimen measures 112 meters in length. Heat-proof tissue. Uh, tissue analysis reveals the specimen consists of one-third inanimate material focused around the chest area. Consumption and retention of mineral substances may explain the life form's ability to withstand extremes of temperature. It even appears to be able to consume molten materials and expel them at its adversaries. Forearms. Evolutionary distinct forearms used for both propulsion and offensive purposes. Findings suggest... Evolutionary divergence from other species on the planet tens of millions of years ago. The sea dragon is likely one of the oldest species on the planet. Behavior. As of the largest carnivore speci carnivorous species encountered, almost everything is potential prey. With few substantial targets in the volcanic cave system, the sea dragon likely ventures out into colder waters to hunt other smaller leviathans, cornering them and forcing them deeper where they are ultimately boiled alive. Wow. I just did like cooked food. The sea dragon's size and the restrictions of the cave system they inhabit suggest their population numbers are extremely low, perhaps in the single digits. While it's not unusual for larger predators to sustain lower populations, it is possible the sea dragon's food sources have diminished over time. This species may be nearing extinction. Uh, assessment. Extreme threat. Avoid in all circumstances. Oh, wait a minute. I remember that someone in the comments mentioned something about these things being immune to the thermal knife. You have to use the regular knife on them if you want to hurt them. Hmm. The thing is, can we survive long enough slashing them with a knife to kill them? Uh, we might have to try. Wow, these things are persistent. Yeah, you better run. Th that's the temporary measure. They're going to keep coming back. That would explain why my batteries were making weird beeping noises all the time. Now is it charging? Ugh. Right. Well then. I need to make myself a regular knife and then use that regular knife to kill this freaking thing. Fine. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Okay. I know that there's a thing below us that we can go down to. But we're going to do that later. Uh, for now, I want to give a quick explore around this area. So let's move forward real slow. There he is. Let's get him. All right, I'll be back in half an hour. Ow! He just scrubbed me. You needed a nail cup, Clippers. That was my bad, I messed up. Damn it! Got away from me. And I got nibbled by a little shark. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. We'll head back to the ship. We'll heal up. 
And we'll come back and stab him some more. Damn it. What the? You ass hat. I'd already switched knives to deal with a different threat, but you know what? I can make time for you. Uh. Quick healing in case things go wrong. Oh my god, he's dead! He literally died! He's done! Yes! Okay, finally we can explore this area. Also, I may need to go back up and grab some more medkits. Uh, I may have burned through a lot of them. Look, I think we have one medkit left. Uh, right! Let's get out of here! Before our battery power gets completely drained by these little bugs latched onto us. It's it's so frustrating. Okay, okay. I need to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, damn it. I think I picked up the beacon again. I picked up the beacon to plant down the scanner room or to move the scanner room or move something. And I never put the beacon back again. So I'm going to have to manually find my way back to base. And with my sense of direction, well, this could be tricky. Well, anyway, uh, let's turn around and try a 180 degree turn and see if we can find our way back to the base we made. Oh, cool! So you're telling me if I turn on the shields, it zaps all the bugs. Oh, that's amazing. Oh! That's the second one. Why is there a second one? Okay, let's not go that direction then. Shh. Right, I'm gonna need a lot more medkits. Gotta kill that guy too. This looks to be our exit. Should be fine. Yeah, this looks vaguely familiar. Ah, home away from home. Excellent. What we'll do is we'll park our ship over some thermal vents to warm up. That should recharge the batteries in this without having to do anything. And we can go grab ourselves some bandages. That is bandage. What's that? Giving me a fire symbol. Where's the fire? Okay, that's not great. Uh, don't use flank speed is the message I'm getting there. Using flank speed for extended periods of time causes that. Okay, I was wondering because I figured, I was wondering how you were supposed to end up at fires on board a submarine when you know, if you get damaged, water's gonna come in. But yes, now I get it. I was using flank speed and that overheated the engines. My bad. Alright, we'll leave it here. We're at 78% power, I think. Actually, let's back it up a bit. 79, yeah. We're in a nice warm location. Making medkits is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just plant one of these first. All you do is you come up to get the, one of these creeper vines, grab yourself a seed, make sure you always have a seed on you, and then just start slicing them. Uh, now that one's already been sliced a little bit so it wasn't perfectly full, but then you dump them in there and you replant it with the seed you just picked. Grab another seed. Uh, refill. Now uh, we can grab one more. Then once you've got all the vines that you can hold in your inventory, I emptied most of ours out. Pop in here, go into basic materials, and two creep vine samples can be turned into one fiber mesh. So done, then that fiber mesh goes straight into first aid. You don't need anything else. So basically two creep vines turn into a med kit. You just got to go through a couple of steps to do it. So lots and lots of med kits, so long as you've got a bunch of those plants and you can grow them. Looking over there in the distance, we can see our big tall creep uh, blood vine thingies, but you'll see that our uh, creep vine ones have not fully grown yet. But there is a way around that I have been advised if you want to get plants to grow quickly. Take a nap. And first thing in the morning, let's check on our plants.
Oh, assuming we haven't died of that horrific virus that's trying to murder us. Yeah, probably sh I don't know what the thing about that is. If you take too long, will you just die of the virus? I don't think they'd do that, would they? Huh. Fruit vines have actually mostly grown. Perfect. Still no seeds. They're at 77% to 58%. Uh, you know what? I think we've got enough med kits. Let's go take out this uh, annoying, you know, whatever you want to call it, leviathan thing that's trying to kill us. I also did remember to put down the forward base beacon. In fact, I might make a couple more beacons to help us along. All ahead full. No flank speed anymore. Flank speed sets your engines on fire, unless you really emergency need it, and then you're willing to put up with the annoying smell of smoke inside this ship. Hmm. We've lost that new ship smell, I imagine, by now. This looks to be... Yep, this is definitely the drop. So what we're going to do is, before we go down here, I'm going to pop out real quick and drop another beacon. It'll just make navigating that little bit... Like, I keep getting turned around and lost all the time. Problems with diving in caves, I suppose. Going down magma? Uh, you know what? There's probably better names, but that's what I'm going with for now. Okay, we've got at least one more Leviathan to clear out before we can explore this area. But that's fine. That's fine. And if we could run over that annoying little runt over there, that would be really nice too. I... I'm waiting for those things to get me one time when I'm not expecting it. Plan is quite simple. We're just gonna charge in. Once we see Leviathan guy, we're gonna hop out, kill Leviathan guy. Then, get on with our day. Alright, where are you, you big bug? Uh, you're around here somewhere. No, that's not you. There he is. Second off. Hope it didn't damage the ship too much. Hey buddy, how you doing? Damn it! He's faster than us. Yeah, this is taking too long and I'm kind of getting bored trying to kill the guy. I can't get a good line on him. He's always too high up. Uh, where was that thing we were looking at? The alien base. I think I'm going to hop out and use the, um, the walker. We can walk around on the ground floor and check things out that way because, yeah, otherwise we'll scorch and this thing's too big. Okay. Eh, park it up. Actually, one thing before we go. That gets rid of all the bugs. Cool. Eh. Let's go exploring and keep an eye out for the Leviathan. Maybe we could do some rodeo riding on it if we get a chance. Alright, what are you? Come here. See, how's our ship looking? It's probably safe parked there, right? This neighborhood's not that bad. Oh, that looks familiar. That looks like alien base material. Oh. Cargo bay. Excellent. This is how we get in here. A functional shield? That means... Yeah, we can walk around here no problems. And, yeah, I'm going to need to bring along a purple tablet. Damn it. What the hell are you? Oh. Yep, he's aggressive. Ion cube. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Oh, cool, it sits down, we're not in use. 
drill ion cube. Oh my god, this this feels wrong. I mean, I'm still gonna do it. Actually, before I do, I should probably check the storage in this. Yeah, a little bit full. I forgot to take out this canine crystal last time I was about. Oh well. Why is that bot hanging out? Get, get off my faceplate. It's distracting. Insert ion cube? Okay. Can be arranged. If I step in that, is things gonna get no? Oh. This might be a bad idea. Uh, I think this is the alien base. Yep, this looks like the alien base. So these were teleporters. Bloody knew it. Uh, Please tell me it's taking us back to the same one, because there's so many teleporters. Okay, okay. That works. So has that activated all the teleporters in the world? You know what? Don't care. Well, let's go exploring some more. Hmm. Integrating new PDA data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It, is, it has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous, indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on recorded feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far. Extinction events. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event, killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adaption among many of the survivors. Got it. So you need a purple tablet. So... We need two purple tablets. I need to get back to the ship and get purple tablets. Or build them. We're back. We got an orange tablet, two purples. We had to make the purples, though. Takes two diamond and uh, one of those green ion cubes. What are you? Blue tablet? Can we drop the blue tablet? No, we cannot. I should have scanned that first, shouldn't I? Doesn't matter, we can drop it outside and scan it there. Alright, there is one more force field around here downstairs. Come here. To me. Uh. Hello? Could you be more specific? Have you got some directions? Maybe grid coordinates? Left or right? Up or down? You know. You're just really a spooky voice in my head. Then again, I have been abandoned on this island for a while, so maybe I'm just going crazy. Insert purple tablet, as you wish. This looks hella dangerous. Like, just, hmm. Like, I feel like there should be safety railings or something. Integrating new PDA data. Primary okay. alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Set set east of this current position, it said. Uh, set set east. Where is our ship? Our ship's over there. Huh. Set set east. So it should be set set east of our... Well, of our ship as well. Codes and clues, primary containment facility. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility location updated, constructed within a natural chasm, connected to this cave network, south southeast area of volcanic activity, depth 1.4 kilometers, power distribution. Self-warping quarantine enforcement units, 5%. Arch network, 10%. Sanctuaries, Alpha, Beta, Kappa, 10%. Quarantine enforcement platform, 35%. Disease research facility, offline. Primary containment facility, 20%. And reserve, 20%. There is no clear where to interrupt the power flow. Hmm. 
So we'll have to turn on the disease research facility, which is what the 20% reserve is for. All right, what are you? Integrating new PDA data. Synthesizing ion powered blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Ooh, iron. So we can make iron power plants now? Ion power data. It's been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ionic an ion cube in an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell print blueprints which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. This sounds interesting to me. Not absolutely essential though, but definitely interesting. What's the length of time on these? Battery infused with alien ion technology. Excellent. And ion power cell. Power cell infused with alien ion technology. Alright, so a regular battery takes copper and two acid mushrooms. An ion battery takes gold, silver, and ion cube? Huh. Definitely gonna need that for the gun we're using. Okay. Um, I probably missed a bunch of stuff to scan, right? But it'll be fine. Uh, the system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices in the plant itself, each of which holds enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, has been drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and giving current understanding of the mechanics involved uninterruptible. Oh, well, excellent. Right, I think we got everything we need. Time to leave. Uh, I think the exit's down there somewhere. Yee-haw! Actually, one second. Uh, water? Uh, food? Vital signs stabilizing. That's good. Oh. What's going on? Oh, you ass hat. I hate you. Oh my god, I hate you. I was about to go riding on a... It's fine. I'll at least get to stab him a couple of times. Now, where did my thingy watch it go? There you are. Pot of gold, come back here to me. Might need to give you a tad bit of repairs. Okay, ion battery. I'm gonna make one real quick. Ion cube, gold, and silver. Ion, in ion infused battery. And I just want the battery for one thing and one thing only. And that is the sucker. There we go. Actually, what's the difference? 500, so it's five times the battery power. That's actually really useful. And you can go into charging. Plan. We need to head southeast of the center location. And actually, one thing we also got to do is... <laughs> okay, sorry, where was I? I keep getting distracted. Right, behind us is the entrance to the cave and all of the junk that's in there. Now, southeast... We don't have to actually go into the cave, do we? Oh, don't tell me that the actual way down is through the... No, no, not going to think of it that way. I'm going to think of it as an up top way. So we are currently, according to this, going south... No, that's south. Directly now. South, southeast. Excellent. Then we'll pop on the cameras. Go to the bottom one, and there should be a drop-off ahead of us or some sort of way through. Hopefully, somewhere. You know what, I'm just going to go scouting. It's probably easier that way. Okay, there's a way down there. All right, turn it about. Let's bring her through that hole. Ugh, this feels tight. I'm going to look for something slightly less claustrophobic. Well, there we go. That looks far easier to go down into. 
All right, well, let's go. So I kind of made this video way too long. It was going to be about two hours, so I'm going to split it in half. I'll be releasing them both today. It's just they'll be a few hours apart as I get them rendered and uploaded and all sorts of stuff. Sorry about that, but I just could not stop playing. I was so close to the end, I just couldn't stop. Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this out here. I'll be back in a few hours. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Good luck.